Hello everyone, it is Diane Aldis back with another video and today we're looking at r slash fuck you Karens, which is probably the, in the top three of my favorite subreddit on Reddit. It's just one of the best places to go if you want to get your Karen on. If you want to learn how to be a Karen, what a Karen looks like, sounds like, acts like, types right, reads likes, just anything. Just go to fuck you Karen. It's just so beautiful. And today we're gonna look, check some out. So let's do this. Now I just sound like Fluffy Talk. Didn't mean to do that. Actually, Fluffy Talk should actually do a segment of this. I, I would approve of that. Anyways, let's begin. So we're actually gonna start with a cute bun. So it is a Karen, but it's a cute Karen. Oh, look at that, Karen. Not sure what I'm looking at here. You're looking at something adorable. Look at that. Oh, you know, the cat doesn't seem like they mind it. That looks kind of, that's so cute. That's cute. I know we're not supposed to approve of Karens, but I think this one's okay, Kaya. Let's leave this one alone. Actually, it would be funny just imagining a cat asking for the manager because of a dog was annoying her. Just... Actually, someone needs to make that an animation. I will, that, that actually sounds kind of funny. When I was 11, I was getting bullied by this girl and my mom let me know that she heard her parents were getting divorced and to tell her that neither of them wanted her, which I did and it worked, but like, mom, oh, ouch. That, that's feisty. That is the beginning. Wow, that is, I don't know. I mean, you were getting bullied. I, I don't know. Is the person who said it was supposed to be the bully? No, is the bully the Karen, the person getting bullied the Karen, or the person, or the mom? Because that would work. Ouch. I, I wish my mom would do that. I wish she did. Ouch. Either way, though. I'm not for sure who the Karen is in this scenario. I think it's the bully, but I thought, I don't know. Is there an age range for bullies, or can you just be a Karen anytime? I mean, there are some entitled kids out there. I don't know. Either way, if the mom is supposed to be the Karen, I don't know. I think this is being a Karen in the right way because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, she said it worked. That person never bullied her again, so I approve. If the mom, if the mom is meant to be the Karen, I approve of this one just for this one scenario. Karen Halloween costume sparks backlash among shoppers. I've actually seen so many of these costumes at Halloween stores. I haven't seen them in like Walmart or Target, but like there's this Halloween store that's like uh, temporarily being here for the holiday season. And it's a really cool st store. I think it's like Halloween Spirit or something like that. And they have been selling so many of these Karen outfits and I love it. If I wasn't more into like being the spooky kind of people or in this case being a vampire, I wore it last Halloween in a real in an older video I did last year, but uh, but I couldn't actually wear it at a party because you know COVID. So I'm gonna wear it again this year. So no Karen this year for me. Maybe next year, but god damn, actually I should wear that costume all this month for Halloween. You know what? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, okay, maybe next video. All right. Either way though, that's funny. That's funny. Actually, just buy that costume just to wear it, wear it on Halloween. That's funny. That's funny. Ah, uh, but of course, Karens would be upset about people dressing up as Karens. Yeah, you know that a demographic of people have made its debut when even people that are, you know, when Mark, when it's now being marketed for Halloween. That's when you. So this is a uh, longer. Uh, one because this is a review and uh, so prepare for that but we're gonna but I'm gonna read it through anyway so let's do this the service was horrible we waited for our appetizer that's the wrong R for almost an hour and a half we talked to the owner and she said that our order hasn't even been started she said if you didn't want to wait longer you can leave we were shocked and we got up and left. We will never come back to this place again. Not to mention it was Mother's Day today. Then responds from the owner. We are very sorry to hear that you had an unpleasant experience at our restaurant. You did not make a reservation though. 
And though we tried accompanying you to the best of our ability under the premise that there would be a wait since Mother Day is one of the busiest day of the year, we apologize for this miscommunication, but you had to come up to us requesting that the food be made immediately because your children are running around the restaurant. Unfortunately, we were not able to fulfill the request due to the capacity of the kitchen and your main dishes had not been started because your table was still waiting for the rest of your appetizers to be served. We can't. We offered to cancel the rest of your order if you could not wait. Your family subsequently left without paying for the three appetizers that were served and consumed. We pride ourselves in running this business with love in both food and service, though there are circumstances that we acknowledge that we cannot control. Thank you for expressing your experience as we are always working to do better for our customers. I mean, what can I say? I mean... That is, that is actually probably one of the nicest reviews, response reviews I've actually read for a Karen because they usually end with like an insult or like a, a final jab. But this person is just like, uh, no, we, yeah, you mean, you did wait, but only because you didn't make a reservation and try to get a meal right then and there on the busiest day of the year for us and we tried but you know we just couldn't do it because you didn't it make you didn't prepare for such a big day like obviously yeah but i don't know i don't know what restaurant that was it was i just feel i just hate when karen's leave reviews like this because it does affect it can affect businesses and uh you know it is something that people like when it comes to reviews People won't, most people won't leave a positive review, but a lot of people will leave negative reviews. And that's something that uh, I think more people are becoming well aware of because like, look at Rotten Tomatoes. Like, like I heard they try to reset some of the newer seasons of Doctor Who, but then they kept getting worse and worse ratings because all the people that had a lot of shit to say about it came back, but not the same people that talked positively about it. Because when you anger someone, they're more likely to try to find a way to get back at it. And it's kind of sucks because it kind of applies the same thing here when it comes to Karen. So I guess the moral is if you go to a place that is a really good place, please, please leave a, you know, try to leave some nice positive review because it does, it can help them. It can. It can help them. And actually, I've started leaving reviews at a lot of uh, private-owned businesses and local game shops of my that I go to a lot to just like little help, little help. It may not be much, but maybe it actually might be. Another hashtag Karen of the day did this BS, accusing a nine-year-old child of grabbing her. What? She actually said she was sexually assaulted when his backpack brushed her backside. This boy was crying because of this BS? What the actual fuck? I am genuinely speechless. I think I said this in the last video, but there are just posts that are just so ridiculously stupid you just don't know what to say. This is this post of the video and I think it's even worse than the last one. Oh my god. I, I am I am trying to say something, but fuck that bitch. <laughs> that's that's what I'm gonna say. On today's episode of Karen blames random things on the Dems, people may have thought I was crazy by suggesting the SoCal oil spill may have been intentional, and now we have Luna calling for offshore oil ban. So these ships out there are from where? Multiple people have insensitives. Put your col Columbo on. And this is why I left the right. Yep. Yeah. Your girl here used to be conservative. Not anymore. Not anymore. Ugh. No. Uh, I can't. I just really hope that not everyone that's a right winger thinks like this. I don't want to think they do, but... I don't know. Reddit has been very diminishing my faith in the Democrat, um, the Republicans and right wingers. Like how they're profiting from the very real issue of racism, wrote one. 
Twitter user Helen Shiver from the U.S. have expressed her outrage after spotting an outfit labeled Karen on the shelves of a local shop. Ooh, another Halloween Karen! You know what? We should all just dress up as Karens for Halloween. We'll make a real impact on, on these poor unfortunate souls. A very smart Karen. And then this woman is holding a sign. I believe in science, not politics. But you don't believe in science because you're an anti-vaxxer and an anti-masker. So you don't believe in science at all because science should not be politicized. But yet here you are doing exactly that. The irony all put together in one little sign. Why? Just, just go back home and pet your cats and don't make yourself look like an idiot on live television. Drunken swimming pool intruders who broke legs threaten legal action. A grandma and her friend who broke their legs after drunkenly breaking into a pool and going down the water slides are threatening legal action. Claire and Vixie have been at the Boozers for four hours on 4th August before heading to her pale Baron Douglas house for some more beverages. During the th But during the early hours, they decided to break into Elbrin shot Lodo Ledge Seizure Park and ha Hamster for a <laughs> what in in bringing a splash about but the decision to go down the water slide proved to be extremely unwise one so it's literally like i got drunk and made stupid decisions and got an injury but i need you to pay for it because wah 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 i'm the victim here it's your fault that i got drunk and went down the slide i didn't do that you're park like forced me there was this force that was pushing me down that slide when i was drunk you took advantage of me selfish people i hope they win actually i don't even know if this is actually going to well they said they threaten legal action so they actually haven't done anything yet but could you actually do something with this karen no you're right accuse everyone request the manager escalate to the authorities Negoc neglect reason that's a right winger thinks like this i don't want to think they do but hypocrites equals karens i'm not taking health advice from anyone that looks like dr t unpopular opinion oh and she wants to talk about someone else's appearance even though she leaves the slur to them morally superior sus social justice warriors unpopular opinion people love to use the word hashtag karen in a dispiring manner but at the end of the day it is a hashtag racist hashtag sexist hashtag ages slur i leave the slur to the moral to superior hashtag social justice warriors Tell me you're a Karen without telling me you're a Karen. I think this post really does it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do not use slur. I'm just gonna leave it to a group that we call social justice warriors that could be considered a slur. Yay! Equality! Yeah. The meaning of the name Karen, pure. Karen originated as a Danish name arising from the Greek word, not gonna even try to pronounce that, which is believed to mean pure. Kaja and Kalarithin are both relative Danish names. In French, the name can also mean clear, though it's retained the meaning of pure across most other backgrounds. Gender, Karen is usually a girl's name. Well, that did not age at all. Very well. Age like milk. Indeed. Yeah. Is that really the meaning of Karen? Wow. Wow. I would have never thought of that, considering what Karens are now. Oof. 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 The way, Karen. Be like the Mandalorian. Never take off your mask in public. This is the way. Not only that it is like so much like that one that that's just so cringe like that's not even good like I'm not even mad that it was clearly that a Karen took the time to make this but it's 
I'm just more upset that this is that the, I'm, it's just really cringe. Like I, ugh, it's so cringe. Not to, I never saw the Mandalorian. A lot of people say it's good, but this is not the way to spread your message. Think it like there got to be a better way to do this. Like that's the thing about when it comes to these anti-maskers and you know and Karens and anti-vaxxers is that when they protest, they don't even do it good. Like, they just find the most cringiest ways to put out their message. Like, if, if you're gonna make yourself look stupid, at least make it look good. Make it like a look good kind of stupid, you know? But, yeah, that's... That, I'm just, I'm just cringing, because that's just more, that's just more cringe. That's just stupid. I want to go on vacation to paradise. Hmm, at this point, everywhere is hell, so this means heaven is the only place. Come soon, Lord Jesus. Seriously, need a break like we all do, especially if you live in Kami Formula. This is why it's hard to be a Christian at, in 2021. Seriously. It is hard to tell people that because I don't want people to think I'm associated with that. <laughs> I'm not even joking at this point. No, I've never actually been to California, but I do know that it is a very uh, leftist state, like a very, very liberal state. But it's just like... <laughs> It's, uh, it's just, I swear to you people that not all Christians are this fucking dumb, okay? If you don't believe me, I'm one of them. Please believe me. Please. 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 I swear. Don't hurt me. End to end on today's video. Apparently in the next post it is bad for people to expect a living wage. Because there are not enough drivers to transport participants to away games, Peoria Unified School District just up their base pay for bus drivers for $20 an hour. Other places like Target are making their base pay to $17 an hour during the holidays. There are more places looking to hire people than people who want to work, so pay is going up in the retail sector and pulling workers from lower parent jobs, unfortunately. Imagine saying all of the positive things and people t starting to take people more seriously and businesses realizing, hmm, if I want workers, maybe I should treat them like human beings and give them money that they can actually use to survive and not just for hold maybe do more with their lives and think that that's a bad thing. Like, $20 an hour as a bus driver? I think that's like, I think that's good. I don't know. I've never been a dress driver before, so I don't know if that's good, but... $17 an hour at Target during the holidays and retails and stuff? That's actually cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like that. I know the misconception of minimum wage is like a really hard, like, con- It's like- It's not as black and white as people want to make it. Like, yes, on the surface, it is. You pay more people, then yes, people will be more willing to work for you and you're going to get more workers. But then there's always the problem when it comes to lowering hours. Prices will just go up, taking away the value of what you're making and everything. And then uh, not hiring as many workers. And I don't know. I don't know. It's like, is there... Inflation has, in our generation, has gone so messed up that there isn't no balance where, like, people just can't find that perfect balance where it's like, you give people enough money to live without raising the prices on everything else. You don't need nothing at the end. So it's just like, yeah. I do believe, though, that if you're working at retail, you know, whether you're a doctor or a bus driver or just a cashier at Walmart, you should be able to have enough money to live that, you know, that's why it's livable wages. And this is coming from someone who uh, worked in retail and also works. I don't know if it work counts like fast. It's not like at the food industry. Because I'm working at the cafeteria at uh, my uh, college, and um, it's doable, but man, it it's hard. It, it gets, 
it gets really hard and sometimes you wish you can just get more so it annoys me seeing people like this who just get mad and when change is actually happening because there are a lot of people quitting now there are a lot of places that are understaffed and it's because people are finally seeing their worth they're seeing that they are that they should um be paid more, that they're worth more than being treated like shit, working terrible long hours and getting nothing for it. And while it is kind of unfortunate waiting longer at places because of being understaffed, it also is nice to see people finally standing up for themselves. Because if this is what it takes for people to finally like, if, it's, if this is what it takes for businesses to finally get the point and start, you know, raising minimum wage and paying people more, then yeah, I don't see the problem in that. Because, uh, especially in my area, a lot of places are very understaffed. And even in, like, college, it's very understaffed. Like, hell, when I'm recording this video, I'm supposed to be work- I was supposed to work in, like, three minutes from now, but... I'm now- I agreed to work later in the day because they just don't have enough people to work at night. And I hate closing. I hate closing, but... I also just wanted more time to record more vids and you know, sleep in and stuff, even though I technically woke up earlier to record and stuff. I just wanted to do something else in the, in the mornings besides work, okay? But just kind of put a thought in that. Yeah, I, I think I just ranted a little bit too much. Either way though, that's the end of the video. Leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't already, I post videos as often as I can. Hoping to post more videos, and especially for this month, because I love, love Halloween. Hoping to do something special for Halloween, like I did last year with the One Chip Challenge. So, we'll see. We'll see. And as always, till next time, Bye bye